Hey everybody, I'm Sigari. Today, I'd like to show you how to cover parts of your screen as an Eve streamer so you don't give away your position easily to your viewers. Note that this is not foolproof because there are plenty of ways that people can ascertain where you are at in space, from the color of the space backdrop to clicked on gates or celestials around the edge of your screen. Now that I've mentioned that uh, this is just a deterrent and not actually a foolproof way to protect yourself, let's get started. So here we have our OBS screen. And in OBS, you have your EVE game capture. We're going to lock the EVE game capture window, and this should always be at the bottom of your sources. Okay, so let's begin with starting our light, nice-looking mask. Under Scenes, you're going to create a new scene, and you are going to call it EVE Blur. And that will create a new screen, okay? If you're running Windows 7, you are going to be able to go to Sources and do a Game Capture. If you're running Windows 10, you are going to do Display Capture. And you're going to call this Eve Blur Capture. Okay, and it should capture your Eve screen. Click OK. Now, once you have this on your screen, you are going to hold down your left mouse button in one of the four corners. It does not matter where. You are going to drag it up into the corner of the screen so it is very small. The reason that we are doing this is because we are using that to stretch over our main screen. And it will be really fuzzy and difficult to read. Make it as small as you can without compromising visual quality. Otherwise, if you make it really small, you'll get sort of a shimmery effect that kind of is distracting. Uh, make it as big as you can without exposing names of things like your system name or anything else that people might be able to read. I'd like to do a little bit less than about a third of width. Okay. Once you've got that and you're happy with how small it is, go back to your mainstream scene. Now you're going to add a scene source. You're going to add the scene called Eve Blur and you're going to click OK. You're going to see it pop up in the top right corner, but you're going to notice that the box is surrounding the entire window. Holding the Alt key, you're going to click the corner opposite the window and you're going to drag the handles up. You see how it goes away as you drag it up? OK, what we're going to do is we're going to drag it so that it covers as much of it as possible while being really accurate. If you are trying to get perfect accuracy, you can right click, you can go to preview scaling, and you can click canvas, and you can hold down the space key, click and drag, and then hold down alt again and get it nice and snappy. There you go. Okay, it really doesn't matter that much, but the closer that you are, the better the finished product. Okay, let's get it nice and close there. All right, perfection. And then you're gonna to wanna to preview scale back to scale window. Okay, now that you've got it all bounded up and it's perfect, you're going to click the same handle and you're gonna drag it back. If it snaps perfectly, you did a great job. It looks like we missed just a hair right here. So we're actually going to hold down the Alt key and we're gonna drag that up. Perfect. Okay, fantastic. Now, you see how it's all fuzzy and blurry. That's pretty close to what we want. Now we're going to click the scene again. Make sure Eve Blur is selected. You're going to right-click. You're going to go to Scale Filtering, and you're going to click Point, and watch what happens. Everything got really sharp, kind of jaggy. That's good. Now, right-click this and click Copy. That stores this for the future. Now what you want to do is you want to start covering up areas of the screen, holding your Alt key, and dragging areas that are obvious in places that you do not want people to see you going to. So for example, let's set that as a waypoint. And you see our route right here? We're going to cover that up. Okay. Now, keep in mind, if this doesn't look super blurry, we can always go back and blur it again. As a matter of fact, I'm not happy with that quality of blur. So we're going to try again. We're going to delete that. We're going to go back to our blur, and we're going to make it smaller. 
The smaller, the blurrier. How about that? Okay, so then we come back over here. We add scene. We're gonna click Eve Blur, and then we're gonna do that again. We drag the handles up. Once the handles are dragged up, we're gonna stretch it out. And it looks like we didn't quite drag the handles close enough. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now right click. Scale filtering point. That's a lot blurrier. That's impossible to read in my opinion. Okay, so right click, copy. And now we start dragging over the areas of the screen that we want to hide, like so. Now, we're gonna see a little bit of that stained glass effect. If you take note, see up in the left corner how it's kind of stained glass? That's just a side effect of the capture over the capture being a little bit slower. Uh, that's just going to happen. Now, now that we've got that covered, we're gonna right click and we're going to paste duplicate. Okay, and that pasted another one. So now we're gonna cover up the overview. We just want to cover up name though. We don't really want to cover up a heck of a lot more because people that are watching your stream would love to watch and see what you're engaging, whether it's like a Reitaru or a ship over here. Uh, the distance can be, it's up to you if you want to keep distance. Again, it's exciting for your viewers to see how close you are to the target. I recommend keeping that off. Once you have that, right click, go to scale filtering and select point and it gets really blurry. Okay, now we're going to paste another duplicate and we're gonna cover up local. Local is an Intel tool, as everybody in EVE knows, and when you jump systems, it shows which system you've just jumped into. It'll say system change to blah, blah, blah. All right, scale filtering, point. Do that point filtering every time for a good looking image. Okay, let's do it again. We're going to paste a duplicate and then we're gonna cover up any Intel channels that you might have, whether it's corporation, your Alliance Intel, you name it, you wanna get it covered up. We're just gonna cover up the whole corp window there, okay, so it's nice and clean. And as you can see now, we've got all of that Intel covered up, okay? Finally, we're going to cover up the area that shows what we're aligning to or what we're warping to, and that's this area right here. So we're going to paste another duplicate we're going to bring that down here. Remember, the more that you cover up, the safer you can be, but people can always figure out where you are. I just recommend trying the best that you can to cover up as much information as possible. Nobody needs to know what's going on in your private channels. Okay, there we go. And that's pretty, pretty smooth. Now, a recommendation for you, uh, a lot of people that are doing PVP are gonna be using the directional scanner and the probe scanner. So when you get that out, my personal preference is just to have it up here. Some people have it like over their corp window or something like that. Wherever you're going to be using your scanner though, make sure it's covered so that people can't read what you're scanning. Uh, you know, save yourself some headache. Uh, this is, again, this is just more Intel. In my opinion, the whole entire scanner should be covered. Nobody in, in stream needs to see that. If you wanna share information, that's up to you. But my opinion is nobody needs to know what I'm scanning down unless I want to tell them. Okay, so once you've got that all covered, you are good to go. Now, here are some tips. Let's cloak up to show that we are now hidden, ha ha. Here are some tips. When you are looking at things in space, people on your stream can see what you're looking at. So for example, even though all of my stream information and locations are covered up, that just gave away that I am in the Narai system. Similarly, if you are going to warp to a gate, you might click it, but as soon as you click it, it's going to show up around your screen. And as you can see down, sure enough, in the side right here, it shows where I am. So you can't always keep that on at all times. Hopefully if you're vigilant, you'll take notice as soon as you click a gate. I definitely recommend clicking gates and then using the functions over here where it's blurred out. That way people can't see you. This is just a suggestion so that you can save yourself some headache. Now, say that you're in warp and you look at the direction that you're going. People that are watching your stream will see that that's selected. So you might want to click your ship so that it's not showing what's selected. Which reminds me, we've got one more thing to blur out and we're gonna do that right now. 
We're going to paste duplicate and we're going to cover up the selected item. Selected item is one of the most important Intel tools in the game. And we're going to just cover that up. Right click, scale filtering, point. There you go. Now, you've done everything that you can to make it so that it's very difficult for people to find you. Remember though, this is not foolproof, okay? So please keep that in mind. This is for, streaming is for entertainment purposes. Your ship is always at risk when you undock in EVE, so keep that in mind. You are just broadcasting more information to the entire EVE community where you are at. I like streaming. I like PVPing. I like losing ships. Uh, it's just part of the part of the fun, and people will love watching you lose ships too. So don't let that get you down. Anyway, I'm Sigari. I hope that you enjoyed this little stream uh, content on how to do this. If you have any questions, please come and visit me at Twitch.tv/Sigari, or you can leave comments below in the comments section of YouTube. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you guys soon. Fly safe.